Well, I guess I'm adding this to part three. I uh, keep making things worse. Um, so I've managed to trace out most of these jacks where they're going uh, to, to the various locations in the building. I've labeled the other ends if they weren't already labeled, plus luckily I have a blueprint of the building that I'm uh, labeling the port location on a picture file on, on my computer and along with the spreadsheet. Unfortunately, despite all my progress, I still have 24 ports that are unknown, plus two that I believe to be in a building that's not mine across the street. So those wires will just remain a mystery forever. Um, one of the things that I probably should have done that would have made more sense is when I was doing this, I have 48 port PoE switches. There's no reason why I couldn't grab one. I was just being lazy. Um, would have been a lot easier to take port one from the switch to port one to the patch panel and then kind of progress through there. Since these Juniper switches I have count from 0 to 47, I probably just would have put 0 on port 48. Um, but, yeah, this method of using a PoE switch with a web interface was definitely handy. But, still lots of work to do. And, um, yeah, once those keystone jacks come in, I can clean this up a little bit. And I'm have a little bit of a mess.